Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Maria from Under the Night Moon, and I'm here today to do a flip through of my um, latest collection for my Etsy shop. And I have three um, adorable little bird journals and three envelope stacks. And um, I'm going to do a separate video for the envelopes. And this video, I'm gonna just focus on these sweet little bird books. I've been working on these for several weeks now, just adding and having fun. And they're just packed full of all kinds of um, just beautiful little things that I, um, I just kept adding um, to them. So um, they're all basically, as you can see more or less the same there are a few differences so i'm going to do um, a flip through of each one so you can kind of see um, and so on the cover um, they each have a different little bird a different little girl and um, they all have a little bird tag behind them and um, so i'll start with this one first and these are all going to be listed in my Etsy shop um, already. I've already done the photos and everything. Um, so yeah, if you're watching this video, they're already up in my Etsy shop and you'll be able to tell um, from the pictures which book is which by the little girl. Um, so I'll start with this one here and the cover papers are this beautiful floral and this gorgeous ledger on the back. Um, they're all bound with the Tim Holtz linen tape and they all have this beautiful piece of tapestry um, uh, trim. Uh, and like I said, they're all the same, but they have a few little differences. So um, here we are, there's the little um, cutie with her little doll. All the pictures are backed with the printed wallpaper here. Um, I do have some French book pages that are really fun um, and I've been using those a lot. Um, they all have an IOD cameo mold that I've cast with paper clay and then hand painted and um, gold. Um, yeah, they're just hand painted with gold and then they're sealed with a finish as well. The paper clay is very sturdy, um, so it's not glass. I love that. Um, they're all backed on this gorgeous piece of velvet and the, a lot of earth tones in these books. Very natural um, kind of feel. They all have a little chandelier crystal. Um, attached. Lots of sorry. This is just beautiful. Um, some little rhinestones, all the trims. They all say happiness on the cover um, and they're all tied. This isn't sorry, but it's just a beautiful hand-dyed pink ribbon um, that I hand-dyed many years ago. I just, I hand-dyed so much of it. Um, there's lots of strings and things, you know, I like to leave all of that. Um, especially with the birds. Let me see if I can just go a little closer so you can see better. Okay, so um, inside on the cover, another little gorgeous um, vintage photo. And they all have this little collage pocket. I've used sorry silk, some paper, some lace, vintage crochet, vintage silk up here. And then they all have a top loading pocket with this beautiful calico print. And it's tea dyed and then I use the gold sparkling paint. So it's got like a tea dyed sparkle to it. And um, on this side, they all have more of the sari silk, some antique lace, a little um, a safety pin and a Tim Holtz little locket charm there. And um, embossed papers, French papers, um, all kinds of digitals and printables in here. Um, if you need to know the papers, please don't hesitate to leave me a comment in the uh, comments below. I can tell you I've got Amity Bloom, I've got by Boho Love. Absolutely love her shop. Um, 
to name a few. I don't think I have any pixie dust vials in here. If I do, I'll let you know. Um, they all have this sweet little um, brass bird charm, hand stamped nests, um, and the papers I um, just put out a whole bunch of copy papers and just started tea dyeing and, and sprinkling with gold and there's shimmer, there's um, some stamping done in the speckled egg and the, the, um, the brown color that I like to use. Um, there's all kinds of, so I'm learning, I'm teaching myself embroidery, so, um, I do have a lot of the, um, cross stitch here, but I have been practicing the French knots, so you'll see, um, the French knots in this book. Um, uh, more hand stamping hair, digital ledger paper. I like to always make sure that there's a lot of tags papers, things for you to journal on, add pictures to throughout my books. I think these would just make such a great photo album kind of journal, um, you know, to record a really fun event. Um, yeah, um, they have sorry silk and lace, some printed paper here. I just thought this was pretty cool. Lots of sorry silk. There's this deckled edge little tag. Um, it says, believe you can and you will. They all say the same thing there and they're all got something printed on the other side. Here's some of my um, sprinkling and having fun with the papers, tea dyed them. Um, I watered down acrylic paint and put it in a spray bottle. That was really fun. Um, and then they all have a really beautiful piece of embroidered netting lace with the um, really beautiful iridescent sequins and rhinestones. I used my little petite cameo stamp to just add some interest to the page. Um, here's some book page and doily for texture. A little fun little tuck spot here with, look at that little cutie. <laughs> so cute. And then just some little, um, these are chapter one papers absolutely am loving chapter one um it's a shop on etsy absolutely love 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 so those go in there little cutie and then they all have um oh so i aged some tape also that was really fun to do um little um, enamel flower charm here which I think goes so well with this floral you can see my little cross stitch there a little forget me not and then I attach this little French label and um, of course I distressed it a little for fun I stamped in the speckled egg color just to kind of um, you know give it that little speckled egg look um, and then on the other side is a uh, beautiful floral and then um, just some more little journaling cards, ephemera for you to play with. This is some vintage fabric up here and that I did the cross stitch on. Vintage wallpaper here. And then I just put a little teacup there. I did attach this fun little puffy flower, which is fun. And um, there you'll see the um, French book pages. And this is the center of, it's one signature. Um, these books are one signature. And in the center is just some beautiful embossed papers that I edged in gold. And the color varies on the three books, which I'll show you the difference. I'm just pointing out the, um, you know, the details in this one book, um, but they're little pockets. And then inside on, on each side, you have this beautiful little envelope, gorgeous little end cut piece of paper there. And then this sweet little bird, this is the antique papery. And then on this side here, again, just such a fun way to record um, precious moments in your life um special events you know if you have a, a toddler or a teenager that's growing wouldn't it be fun to catalog their their pictures and something like this 
Um, here you can see the fun tape. I really recommend everybody try this out. It's so much fun. You just use the alcohol inks and a brown color and scotch tape. It's so easy. Um, and the effect is so fun. Um, this is by Boho Love. This is one of her new collections. I just absolutely adore the aqua and the roses. It's just so beautiful. And then I have um, a whole bunch of sari silk that I'm trying to use. So here's this beautiful um, deep, deep hunter green. And then I used this raspberry, oops, raspberry. Um, I don't know if the camera's going to pick that up. It definitely didn't in my um, pictures for Etsy. So you can see it's this beautiful raspberry color. And they're just little French knots, which I think I have down pretty good, but those aren't as easy as they look. Um, and then I attached this pretty crystal charm here, gorgeous seam binding, beautiful rose. And then, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> Uh, inside the pocket, I just made a quick little notepad um, for you. Just extra um, journaling, writing space. You know, you have some extra memories that you want to add. I'm not sure if the camera's picking up the shimmer, um, but I had a lot of fun. I've got some iridescent lavender, some aquas, of course, gold um, on these papers. And if you, if you see it in person, you'll be able to see all the different colors. Um, but I just wanted to make sure I included another little place for journaling. Moving right along, we have just beautiful stamping. Here's that wreath image I love. Some really pretty vintage fabric with some more cross stitch. And then this is the speckle I was trying to um, just kind of um, bring an essence to, I guess. Here's you'll see the um, little dotted print in the brown and this um, speckled egg color. That's a Tim Holtz um, uh, oxide color. Um, so they're just some fun little ephemeras for you. I have this fun Heidi Swap stamp. So it's got March 29th, 2022. And then it's just an off cut of some vintage ledger this pretty little rose and I collaged a little number on there. Each of the books is one, two, and three. But um, again, they're all more or less the same. Um, this side is the other side of this. Okay, so this is cardstock, sorry, I got confused. <laughs> um, inside here is just a sweet, sweet little um polar or not polaroid um slide that i made more hand stamping on there pretty little tag um and this gorgeous paper holding that and i did also rust some paper clips which is another really fun project and there's a million youtube videos um i attach this really cool trim uh, other side of the doily and book page. Um, yeah, there's a, a ton of videos on how to rust um, like newer products. So um, if you need to know, I can answer any questions about that. Um, here's a gorgeous little double um, chiffon and lace with some sparkling um, fabrics. Little tag that says beautiful story on there. More journaling. More gorgeous tags from chapter one. All the pages have been tea dyed. Um, so everything's ready for writing. Um, here's some uh, Sam Pool and her gorgeous little Polaroids. Some more um, just beautiful journaling cards. There you can see the French book pages. It's a um, dictionary book, so. Um, fussy cut beautiful floral up there. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick that up. Can you see the iridescent shine on there? I don't know, it's so pretty and subtle. Um, just some embossing. There's a good, um, there's a good, um, a sample of like the the sparkling 
um, mists and stuff that I was playing with. Here's another little tag. Beauty is everywhere. Fussy cut um, butterfly. Gorgeous little reprint here. Um, some sparkling tool underneath this little butterfly here. And then um, the last page of the signature, there's a little clothespin. And I did edge it in gold. And on one side, it holds this gorgeous little cutie. Um, but you do have this paper here to um, maybe put a photo of your own on. And um, this is, um, like I said, the chapter one. And um, this journal kit comes with um, this gorgeous stationery set. So I included one of these. And this book will come with another little envelope of goodies. I always like to add um, extra things um, to play with. My studio is very, it's, it's abundant. <laughs> um, these are those little photo corners that I got and some of them are round, which I thought was really cool. So I turned them into little tabs. Um, I love the brown color. Um, here's some washi, some gorgeous eyelet here that's embroidered. And then, um, the back has a little sari silk, a little tassel, some embroidered burlap, um, a little vintage key. Well, it's not vintage, it's um, new, but made to be, you know, look vintage. And um, this is a little tuck, so it's not, the bird doesn't come out, um, but it's only attached by this um, handmade tape up here. So you could take that bird out if you wanted to. Um, I just liked the way it looked, um, and then it has another little sequin, uh, not sequin, uh, little safety pin. Um, as I was explaining to with my other little bird book that, you know, the mother bird just collects all of her little scraps and bits and things to make her nest. And I was mentioning my sister has a, um bird's nest that the mama bird used Christmas tinsel when she was weaving the nest and so that's always inspiration for me if I see a little scrap of something um, I like to add it so that is the flip through of um, this book here with this little cutie um, and the next few I'm gonna go through more or less more quicker um, cause you already know about all the things. Um, oh, and they all say happiness on the bottom. So here is the, um, cover page. It's more of a collage for the second book. Here's your little bird and little cutie for the cover. And then inside, um, yeah, so one of these I went backwards. I think it's this one here. One of these is backwards. So the back is in the front, the front is in the back, but it's the same exact layout. I think this is it. Sorry to be confusing, but um, that's just sometimes for me, my studio. <laughs> um, but um, same thing, vintage key, gorgeous little charm. Little cutie, beautiful butterfly, little charm. They all have the word love and typewriter keys. They all have the French knots. Gorgeous sari silks up here. Didn't mention either, but this sari silk is called watermelon and it's pink and green together. And I just, it's so fabulous and beautiful. And it's just the coolest vintage um, look because it just matches everything. Here's your little deckle bedge tag. Fun cross stitch there. There's your sparkly lace. Little cutie and the little enamel. Um, and your um, French luggage tag. Didn't really point out these cuties. So sweet, little lovebirds. It says believe. There are a bunch of words in here. Um, puffy flower. Gorgeous there, beautiful butterfly here. Antique lace and silk there. This is also a little tuck. If you had some extra pictures, you could keep them in there. Um, and again, you know, these pockets are lots of room. You could pack those pretty well. 
There's the vintage tape, beautiful charm. Notepads are all the same. Gorgeous printing here. Little slide, beautiful little tag. And the same little um, sequin flowers, gorgeous. I love all the things hanging. Uh, beautiful story and there's your beautiful lace piece. Um, polka dotted sari up here, gorgeous little tags. Beauty is everywhere. Um, here's your little um, envelope. The envelopes differ slightly, but it's all the same floral. And um, I'm just obsessed with them. I think it's just, they're just beautiful. That's a uh, chapter one papers. Cute little thing, po um, you know, whatchamacallit. What is that clothespin? <laughs> and then there's your little kids for this one. And the children are different. So make sure you check the Etsy pictures if you have your heart set on one. Um, that way you know who you're getting. Or if it doesn't matter to you, then that's great. Um, and also, too, if you need the cover of your journal to say something different, don't hesitate. Just leave me a message and I can definitely, um, you know, I can, I can put any words on there, you know, um, and personalize these. It's never a problem. So if that's something that um, you're inspired to do, just leave me a message in the comments. I didn't show you the back of that one. So there's the back. Pretty tapestry, more of another collage. You can see the Tim Holtz tape. Which I highly recommend his tape for binding. Although these books are all stitched around and they're sewn in and then the tape is added on top of that. Um, but so sturdy, so beautiful. And he has a new one out that I wanna try and find. It's like a tapestry, so it's all different kinds of um, patterns and stuff. So pretty. Okay, so here's the third one, and um, the same little cross stitch here. And there's your little cutie. And then the cover is this beautiful floral. You can see the stitching here. A little bit of tape on there for fun. And then I just collaged some antique laces. I hand stamped this gorgeous linen, and then just some vintage fabrics. And they all have... Um, the hand stamped linen they all have the same just the paper underneath is different um and then they all have the vintage buttons the sari silk belly band a little ruched seam binding here they all have this pocket tag up here um and they all close together with this um cotton ribbon so yes yeah, so you can see these two um, these two have the pocket on the front and the bird is in the back <laughs> and then um, this one here has the bird in the front and the pocket in the back so yeah little bit different okay so this is the third one beautiful floral and um these are your little cuties but they all have the same beautiful um netting embroidered the silk the crochet Suzanne Bloom's new paper, one of them, absolutely love her papers. And then here you can see all the antique laces. The antique laces together with the sari silk is just positively magical. I'm really enjoying the sari silks out there and, and I ordered some, so now I have a whole bunch, which is good. You're gonna see a lot of sari silk coming up in my work. I love the colors, the textures, and it has like this really beautiful, um, I don't know, like a sheen to it. That's not a good example. Um, 
let me just show you here. Oh, there's my gold paint. Um, so here's like an ivory color, but it just has like a, I guess it's the silk part. It just has a really beautiful, um, like a, it's not sparkling, but almost. It's just really beautiful. Um, here's your little deckled edge. Believe you can and you will. Um, and this book is slightly edged in gold, but because the pages have so much splattering on them already, I didn't um, splatter more with my gold. Usually when I'm finished with a book, I'll go through and splatter. But um, for this book, for this collection here, I didn't because I already had um, so much speckling going on. I was just spraying and speckling for days, waiting things to dry, <laughs> having fun. Um, yeah. Oh, and they all have a little wax seal. I don't think I mentioned the wax seal of the feather. Yeah, I didn't. Um, and then um, this fabric right under here actually is from a rag roll from the 20s and the 30s. Um, and households would save their clothing when they couldn't wear it anymore and tie it they would rip it into strips tie them together and roll them up into balls and they could weave carpets out of them and all sorts of neat stuff and I have a dozen or so of these rag balls you can google it um, and see and a couple of them might unraveled because my curiosity was just driving me insane and um, they're just absolutely gorgeous beautiful fabrics um, just waiting to be found um, inside so there's a little bit of history for you and I had ordered them years ago um, from Etsy too I believe it was um, one of my first Etsy purchases um, oh gosh probably 10, 12 years ago, but um, it's only taken me just, I think last year, uh, to unravel one. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, moving right along. If I remember, I will um, bring one over to my next video so you can see what they look like. But, um, well, here's a good um, version. Maybe you'll be able to see the, can you see the iridescent uh, shimmer on there? So cool. Um, let's see. And that is um, pretty much the flip through for these. I really am so grateful um, for everyone who's following me, who's following me on Instagram, on Etsy. I just have to say thank you all so very much. I'm so grateful. And um, I just recently went over 200 subscribers here on YouTube, which is very exciting. And so I think um, what I want to do is to do maybe a um, like a giveaway for maybe 250. So stay tuned for that if you're following me here on um, this is my favorite page right here. If you're following me on YouTube, uh, make sure you subscribe and. Um, at 250, I will do a giveaway. Um, I will make something and um, I'll do a giveaway because I really love that whole concept. It's really fun. And um, like I said, um, just thank you so, so much for all of your support, your kind words and comments um, to everyone. And have a really wonderful day. These are all listed in my Etsy shop if you're watching this video. Um, and just have a really wonderful rest of your week. God bless and just thank you so, so much. Bye-bye.